Ishwari and this is my fellow MC Tanya Madan. We are honored to be here today to celebrate and bid farewell to someone who has had a profound impact on all of us, our beloved biology teacher, Mini Philip Ma'am. Mini Ma'am has been more than just a teacher. Her passion for biology has ignited a spark in each of us, encouraging us to explore the wonders of the natural world with enthusiasm. Beyond the classroom, Mini Ma'am has been a mentor, a guide and a friend of us. Throughout her tenure, she has been a beacon of inspiration and guidance for all of us. Her dedication, wisdom and unwearing support has left an indelible mark on all of us. So, without any further ado, let's begin the celebration by a ceremonial lighting of the lamp. This tradition signifies the dispelling of darkness and illumination of knowledge. Please join us in welcoming our dignitaries to perform this auspicious ceremony. Hence, now I would like to invite our respected principal, Reverend Father Jasi Ranjikal, Mini Ma'am, Staff Coordinators, Mr. Paul Simon and Ms. Nidhi Irwadi, Cultural Representative, Ms. Sonika, followed by our school head boy, Neil Sharma and head girl, Lavanya Sabnan. Continuing with a special prayer by Kashri Jain. community. Her dedication, kindness and unwavering commitment to nurturing young minds have touched countless lives and left an unerasable mark on each of us. Lord, we keep her near and dear ones in our prayers. Bless them with peace and happiness. We lift up our principal, Reverend Father Jas Lanjikil to you, who has led us with wisdom and care. Grant him continued strength and vision to guide our school community. We pray for everyone gathered here. May they be inspired by the spirit of companionship and goodwill that Mini Ma'am has fostered among us. Bless our participants and teachers who have worked tirelessly to organize this farewell program. Bless them abundantly for their efforts and dedication. May this farewell program run smoothly and be a reflection of gratitude and respect we have for Mini Ma'am service. All this we ask in your holy name. Amen. Ma'am and Kashvi for such a peaceful prayer. With a huge round of applause, now I invite Rosie Ma'am on the stage to share her few moments with our dearest Mini Ma'am. person rightly said and I quote it takes a big heart 
to shape little minds, unquote. Esteemed guests of the day, respected principal, Reverend Father Jazz, our beloved colleagues, Mrs. Minnie Philip, our coordinators, Mr. Paul and Mrs. Nidhi, dear colleagues and my dear students. Today, as we bid farewell to dear Minnie Ma'am, I am reminded of the day when I joined the school 25 years back. During my initial days, the support and cooperation I got from Minnie Ma'am cannot be forgotten. Working in the same science department, I found a loving, compassionate and an ever smiling colleague and also a very dear friend. Words may fall short in describing her ethics, duties and responsibilities that she has overtaken for 31 years as a prime member of our science department. She had nurtured students in the field of biology through her vast knowledge of anatomy, physiology, genetics, botany, etc., etc. Apart from that, her contribution as a member of Eco Club, her dedication and devotion to numerous activities conducted, especially during the celebration of Earth Day, requires acknowledgement and appreciation. From planting new saplings to creating posters, conducting rallies, mural paintings, to name a few. These are some of the activities which she personally looked after as a member and head of Eco Club Committee. As a teacher, she has a plethora of knowledge that she happily shares with her students in her class in favor of learnings and in the form of learnings and experiments. Talking about Mini Ma'am, on a personal level, she is gem of a person. In fact, she is the coolest person that I have come across. I have never seen her being angry with anyone, be it her students or her colleagues. She is always calm and composed, very dignified, very humble, down to earth. We will definitely cherish all the memories and will never forget her contribution to school. With this, I would like to conclude my speech with a short poem which I would dedicate to dear Mini Man. The time we have spent together are cherished moments that we share. We offer you these encouraging words that show how much we care. Enjoy the sunrises and sunsets and all that nature has to give. No more watching the clock. You only have one life to live. Spend time with family and friends. They are the ones who really care. But don't forget your extended family. We will be waiting for you here. Take some time out to do you, even if it means spending time alone. Remember that if you ever need us, you just have to reach for the phone. I repeat, if you ever need us, you just have to reach for the phone. With these words, once again, dear Mini Ma'am, I wish you a very, very happy retirement, a healthy and adventurous life ahead. Thank you. Thank you, Rosie Ma'am, for sharing such beautiful memories and letting us know more about Mini Ma'am. Now I request our principal, Reverend Father Jas Langeville, to come upon the stage and felicitate Mini Ma'am with a memento, a shawl and a sapling. Thank you. 
for adding such a special moment to our event. Now, please join me in welcoming our school head boy, Neil Sharma, and head girl, Lavanya Sabnani, for a speech for our minima. Let's give them a huge round of applause as they share their words of gratitude. A very good afternoon to honored guests, students, and most importantly, our dearest Mini Philip ma'am. Today, we have gathered here to celebrate the remarkable career and retirement of a truly exceptional educator and our beloved Mini ma'am. Ma'am walks with a huge smile on her face, which is enough to brighten anyone's day. Ma'am has dedicated 31 years of her life to this noble profession of teaching with a significant portion of that time spent enlightening minds in the field of science, especially biology. Her passion for the subject, combined with her unwavering dedication and commitment to education, has inspired generations of students to explore the wonders of life, from the microscopic world of cells to the vast ecosystem. Her external support and the will to teach has made many students' careers successful and helped them in achieving their goals. In the classroom, ma'am was more than just a teacher. She was a mentor, a guide, and a picture of calmness and serenity. Her innovative teaching methods, engaging lessons, and biology on her fingertips fosters a sense of curiosity and love for learning that will endure in her students for the years to come. As a student for a couple of years now, I can confirm that you can never get bored in her biology classes. She has strived with passion and dedication in order to make our institution a better place. As we bid farewell to ma'am, we do so with a mix of gratitude and sadness. Gratitude for the countless hours she has devoted in shaping young minds and sadness because we will really miss her presence, wisdom and warmth. However, we also celebrate this new chapter of our life and wish that retirement will bring her the joy relaxation and fulfillment she so richly deserves. This sure is an emotional day for all of us, but as they say, for something good to start, something great should end. Today, I need Sharma on behalf of Michaelite family, wish that you have a wonderful and long life ahead. Never ever let that smile fade away from your face, ma'am. May your life ahead be filled with happiness, adventure, and all things you really love. We will miss you, our dearest Mini Philip, ma'am. Thank you. Warm greetings, Reverend Father, teachers, dear Michaelites. Today, as we gather to say farewell to our beloved Mini Philip Ma'am, someone who has profoundly impacted our academic journey and personal growth. It is with mixed emotions that we stand here, grateful for all that you have given us, yet sad to see you go. Your dedication, passion, guidance, and the way you make complex concepts easy to understand, simple and fascinating has inspired us to explore the wonders of biology. Your kindness, patience and encouragement have created a supportive learning environment that has allowed us to grow and thrive. From learning about microscopic leaves and to learning about the human system from diagrams and skeletons, it was truly an enriching experience, ma'am. We will miss your lively discussions and your ability to make learning fun. You have been more than just a teacher, you have been a great mentor and a role model. It is true that teachers don't only impart you with knowledge, but also they leave you with experience that lasts a lifetime. You have been the catalyst for our learning, speeding up our understanding of the world around us. We are grateful for the time you had with us and the lessons that you taught us. We wish you all the best in your future endeavors, ma'am. We will miss you. Thank you both of you for sharing your thoughts and experiences with our extraordinary teacher, Minnie Ma'am. It is with great fondness and honor that we celebrate Minnie Ma'am's life's new chapter. Nevertheless, we would like to see her journey of 31 years in this esteemed school. It's time to refresh all our sweet little memories with ma'am through this video presentation.
कभी अलविदा ना कहना चलते चलते मेरे ये गीत याद रखना कभी अलविदा ना कहना कभी अलविदा ना कहना हाय मैम सो इट्स बीन ऑलमोस्ट एट इयर्स सिंस वी लेफ्ट स्कूल and honestly choosing biology for me was not a very personal choice it was something which my parents suggested it was a good career to pursue 8 years down the road i'm a doctor now pursuing to become a surgeon soon and all of this did not happen by chance because when i took bio it was not one of my strongest subject but your way of teaching and the support you provided was unmatched personally for me a simple gesture like calling my real, calling me by my real name which is so hard to pronounce even my parents don't call me with that you were like a mother to us ma'am and i started taking the subject seriously because i wanted to become a star in your eyes and that's how i started taking studies seriously and achieved something in life i owe my profession to your way of teaching and your love for students ma'am wish you all the best for this next phase in life you are always in our hearts and happy retirement ma'am good morning my clients long time no see and very very congratulations to our second mother dearest mini ma'am thank you so much for your love and guidance throughout we'll miss celebrating your birthday in our bio lab love you and miss you ma'am only best wishes for your life ahead Hello ma'am first of all congratulations on your retirement wishing you a future filled with relaxation joy and of course a lot of new adventures i really want to thank you for your motivation and guidance your faith in me your encouragement and of course your love has made me who i am today you're not just a teacher but a mother a guardian of hope and of course a shining example of kindness I'll never forget how you motivated me and uh, encouraged me to pursue dentistry. I believe whatever I am today it's because of you. Thank you for being the best mentor and a great and an incredible human being. I'll always carry your love and lessons with me. Thank you for everything ma'am. Your dedication and your hard work has made a huge difference in students life. Congratulations once again ma'am. Thank you so much for laying the foundation of my career and helping me become the person I am today. Biology lessons were always fun all thanks to you. I feel very sad for all the future kids who are going to miss this wonderful opportunity of learning from you. As you embark on this new journey, I wish you health and happiness. I hope you will enjoy your retirement as much as you enjoy teaching in this institute. Hey and Michaels, warm greetings to everybody and a very special hug to our dearest Mini Ma'am. This is Pooja from class of 2016. I will always remember Mini Ma'am being this ray of sunshine in our lives. You know, her kind heart, gentle smile and love unparalleled for every student did more to us than one can expect. Even if I didn't continue down the path of medicine, I still think of her so often. Her classes are always on my mind. You know, it always brings a tear or fills my heart with so much joy when I tell about stories from her classes. I wish Mini Ma'am abundance of happiness, health, and good adventures in this next chapter of her life. Ma'am, please know that all the students love you big time and think of you and will always root for you in our lives. Hello, Ma'am. Uh, firstly, I would like to say congratulations to you on your retirement. and uh, secondly i would like to thank you for always being supportive and for always being there to push us to our limits so that we can realize our potential uh, and uh, i have learned a lot from you uh, be it in the be it in the biology classes or practicals or those biology academic trips that we had they will always be one of my core memories and i always cherish them and uh, i know for sure that uh, present students will miss you a lot and they should be missing you Uh, but i wish you nothing but happiness and fulfillment in your retirement i wish you good health and uh, i hope you enjoy every minute of your retirement happy retirement ma'am
video presentation. It reminded all our past memories. Your efforts says it all. Thank you, ma'am. Today marks a moment of both reflection and celebration as we gather here to bid farewell to our dearest teacher, Millie ma'am. Her passion for teaching and nurturing young minds has not only shaped our academic journey but also instilled our values that will resonate far beyond these walls. Now, with great anticipation and respect, I invite Minnie Ma to share her journey of 31 years with the St. Michael's family. Please invite her. First of all, I would like to thank Manji I can't uh, imagine, like I couldn't even vision of what you have presented. Anyway, uh, I'm honored to be here. Respected principal, dear colleagues, dedicated office and auxiliary staff, and dear cherished students. Today, as I stand before you, I'm filled with profound sense of gratitude and nostalgia as I prepare to bid farewell after 32 years, 31 years professionally, one year I joined before, that is not included. Anyway, 32 years of service at this esteemed institution. It has been an honor and a privilege to serve alongside such dedicated individuals who have shaped not only my career, but also my life. I extend my heartfelt thanks to all the managers, Father Ay Santos, Father Lawrence Pinto, Father E.D. Sebastian, Father Charles de Sousa, Father Iris Fernandez, Father George Manimala, Father Junario Rebello, Father Lawrence Piar, Father Sevrivati Shankar, and Father Francis Aminathan. And principals, Mr. Mani Thomas, Father Vincent, Father Sabu Joseph, and Father Jas, under whose guidance I have had the privilege to work. Their vision, leadership, and unwavering support have been instrumental in the growth and success of this institution. To my fellow teachers, office staff, and auxiliary team, thank you for your cooperation, support, and camaraderie throughout the years. Your dedication and professionalism have made every day a rewarding experience. I fondly remember the teachers who have retired before me, Mrs. Mann, Mrs. Kaur, Mrs. Satya, Mrs. Mary de Sousa, Mrs. Doreen de Sousa, Mrs. Massey, Mrs. Sue, Mrs. Ragni Kumar, Mrs. Suma Johnson, Mrs. Shraddha Sharma, Mrs. Vinita Sashdeva, Mrs. Elsie Matthew, Mrs. Sushma, Mr. Divakar, Arun sir, Pradeep sir, Manoj sir, Shalit ma'am, whose contributions have laid a strong foundation for our school's success. Their legacy continues to inspire us. Over the years, I have witnessed remarkable transformations within our school, from the expansion of our building to an additional flow, to the transition from all-boy school to a vibrant co-educational environment, beautiful washrooms for both boys and girls, new music and AI room. These changes have enriched our educational journey and strengthened our community. To our students, past and present, you have been the heart and soul of this institution. Your enthusiasm, curiosity, and achievement have fueled our passion for teaching. It is your success stories that truly defined a legacy as educators. A special mention to the biology students of both present and previous batches. Your love for learning and eagerness to explore has kept me inspired and rejuvenated throughout the years. As I take voluntary retirement, I do so with a deep sense of responsibility towards fulfilling other personal obligations that I hold dear. With age comes clarity about life's priorities and it is essential to pursue what brings happiness and fulfillment. To all the students, I extend my heartfelt wishes for a bright and successful future. Your potential is boundless, and I have no doubt that each of you will attain great things. In conclusion, I express my sincere gratitude to everyone who has been a part of my journey here. Your support, encouragement, and friendship have meant the world for me. 
as i embark on a new chapter of my life i carry with me cherished memories and valuable lessons learned from each of you thank you once again for allowing me the privilege to serve this institution i wish you all continued success and happiness in your endeavors farewell and may our paths cross again in future thank you thank you ma'am words can never do justice to the immense contributions you have done in our lives and to this institution we wish the journey you have gone through and the new beginnings you'll take will leave a legacy for us to emulate and for the future generations to inherit Furthermore, we always acknowledge you and love you. No program is complete without a dance. Let's celebrate Mini Mam Journey with a captivating dance performance by talented dancers of class 9th and 11th. Hey, 
bid farewell to our beloved teacher, Miss Mini Philip. Thank you, Philip Mini Madam, for your dedicated service. May God bless you. Thank you. Thank you, Father, for your kind words. As we mark towards the end of this memorable occasion of bidding farewell to our esteemed ma'am, it is my privilege to invite Hansika to propose the word of thanks. Greetings to one and all present here. I, Hansika Kadam of Nine Diamond, feel privileged to express this hearty word of thanks and being a part of this wonderful event. Bidding farewell to one of the members of our Michaelite family. A great man once said, Gratitude is the fairest blossom which springs from within the soul. First and foremost, I thank God for this wonderful day, for making this program super memorable. Next, I would like to thank our principal, Reverend Father Jack Alangitil, for his constant support, his presence and inspiring words. Secondly, a heartfelt gratitude to Mini Ma'am for being the heart and soul of this journey. Furthermore, we will miss you ma'am and your last warnings and timely corrections which made us better students. Gratitude for the memories, the laughter and the unwavering support you have provided to us. Thank you for making work feel like a canvas of creativity and collaboration. I wish the journey you have gone through and the new beginning you take will leave a legacy for us to emulate and for, and for the future generations to inherit. I would like to thank all the teacher representatives, discipline committee, decoration committee and all the participants for making this day more memorable. Also, the support staff for the technical help. Last but not the least, a very big thanks to you all for being such a patient audience. Lastly, I would like to sum it up with a quote. Goodbye may seem forever. Farewell is like the end, but in my heart is the memory and you will always be there. Thank you. Thank you, Hansika. Mini Ma'am, your profound impact on our school community is immeasurable and your legacy will continue to inspire generations to come. We extend our deepest gratitude for your unwavering commitment and remarkable contributions. Now, let's remember the values and principles that make us who we are today and let's strive upon them every day. With this, I request everyone to kindly get ready for the school anthem with head raised high and right hand placed on your heart. Amritam Gamaya Amritam Gamaya Amritam Gamaya 
Gangamai.